Okay everyone, it's time to grab your tinfoil hats. In fact, here's one I made earlier, because today we're jumping down the rabbit hole. I know it looks stupid, just let it happen. Over the past few weeks, popular Hollow Knight YouTubers have been hiding encoded messages or riddles in their videos, which many fans believe could be linked to legitimate Silksong news. Before we get into it, I want to make it very clear that it was Corey Miller who made me aware of this, and they have two videos on the subject that I encourage you to watch, I will link them in the description and in the corner too. There's also a couple of Reddit posts that I'll be referencing throughout, also available in the description. Alright, let's summarise events so far. On the 25th of March, Daily Silksong News posted their usual daily update, but this edition ended with the numbers 23, 8, 5, 18, 5, 1, 39. And when simply translated from number to corresponding letter in the alphabet, the message reads, where am I? Also on the 25th of March, Windet's second channel, win 2 et posted a comical grub challenge video with the numbers 9, 20, 19, 19, 15, 4, 1, 18, 11, which translates to, it's so dark. On the 29th of March, my birthday, Miles Nugget posted a smash or pass video featuring the numbers 4, 15, 22, 16, 16, 26, 1, 15, 16, 26, which translates to who is this? And on the 3rd of April, Sky Panda posted a Silk Song update video with the numbers 23, 8, 15, 1, 13, 9, which translates to Who Am I? And putting them all together results in Where Am I? It's So Dark. Who is this? Who Am I? The conspiracy runs much deeper than this, but let's take a moment to review. The community have proven before that they love riddles and they react positively to the challenge. I mean, what else did you expect from gamers starved of information? Previously, Matthew Griffin, aka Leth, tasked the Hollow Knight Discord with a series of riddles and a password protected zip file for each of them that would eventually be unlocked with the answer to their corresponding riddle. And in the end, it unveiled four new NPCs that will be featured in Hollow Knight Silk Song. This all happened about three years ago, so if you missed all the fun, don't worry, there are many, many videos out there on YouTube covering them in great detail. Moving on, it would be easy to dismiss all of this as just a few friends having some fun with the community, which I would personally welcome. After all, Windet, Miles Nugget, and Sky Panda have all appeared as guests on Daily Silk Song News at some point so far, and we know that Aurora is no stranger to the odd cryptic video. However, to counter that, popular Hollow Knight lore YouTuber Mossbag was previously given a part of a riddle back then three years ago by Team Cherry to post themselves on Twitter, so it's not a complete stretch to imagine that Team Cherry had once again reached out to creators to enlist their help and their audiences. We also know that Hollow Knight Silksong begins with Hornet being kidnapped to a faraway land called Farloom. She doesn't know why or by by who, and yes, it does look rather dark and bleak out there in the opening sequence. Regardless of whether this is a sneaky way of drip feeding information from Team Cherry or a boredom fueled fan project, I would guess that they are referring to what Hornet might have been feeling in that moment, as well as a nod to the mystery surrounding her heritage and what happened to the Reavers when they left Hallow Nest. And it doesn't seem like I'm the only one who reached that conclusion almost immediately. But let's continue. Reddit user Rojolt144 posted on the Silksong subreddit on the 7th of April that they had searched the first coded message and stumbled upon a YouTube video that was uploaded on the 11th of January. And the title of that video contains 5.1, so they theorise that perhaps this means May the 1st. What could be happening on May the 1st, we still don't know. The video they found was particularly interesting as it contained messages in Morse code and a description that could be translated with a Caesar cipher to, where do I go after I disappeared? Where is my friend? We were just making a machinima. And on that account's latest video, they posted a description that purposely capitalised letters so it read the message, go alone, miss you. Now, if you're anything like me, you've listened to that last segment and thought, that's gotta be a coincidence. Like, what does any of that have to do with Hollow Knight? It's a simple enough riddle that maybe other ARPGs likely used it in the past and now we're latching onto connections that just don't exist. Despite having a degree from the Massachusetts Institute of Copium, that's too much of a stretch even for me, but there is more. They came back with another update with the help from others on the subreddit. Now, I'll pop it on the screen and remind you again that I can take absolutely zero credit for any of these findings. I'm just relaying them to you. Boosucker zero exclamation mark has found some other links including a hidden help and a related YouTube account created in March that features codes that translate to where am I and 
It Is Dark, which do sync up with the messages previously relayed by the Hollow Knight YouTubers. A user called Cole Sheik translated some of the Morse code in one of the videos, which resulted in the sentence, where am I, who are you, what are you? Another user, Ossinova, found a Bandcamp profile for one of the YouTube accounts that was created on the 14th of February, 2024, you know, the anniversary of Silksong's announcement. There was also an entirely separate thread that was posted by a user, Southern Insurance 56, delving deeper into these accounts, videos, codes, etc. Again, I'll show it to you on screen if you're interested in reading it yourself, and I'll link them in the description. And then there's another post from Angle Lucy, allegedly disproving that the musicians, YouTube, and Bandcamp have any relation to the Hollow Knight YouTubers' codes. So that brings us on to the big questions. Are all of these things actually connected, and are Team Cherry behind it? Look, I'm sorry fellow fans of Hollow Knight, and I say this is the most hoped up Silk Song stan in existence, but I do believe that this is just a case of fans trying to wish something into reality. I do believe that there is something worth investigating here, but for me it ends at the coded messages offered by the Hollow Knight YouTubers. I don't believe Team Cherry is behind this though, and I'll go into more detail around why I think that in a moment. And I believe the rest is sheer coincidence in that the Redditors found another ARPG, and this has nothing to do with the original codes. I do also genuinely like the idea that they brought musicians into the mix given the whole Silk and Song themes of Farloom. But anyway, my reasoning. First of all, I want to emphasise that I'm really happy that these creators came together to start something, and absolutely no shade intended, we are so starved for information, and this is a fun activity to keep some of us busy. Uh, but they're barely riddles, like I wouldn't class them as riddles myself, the most challenging part is having to find them in the first place, and I don't at all think that this was the intention, but it's probably given their videos a nice boost in views. I personally hadn't watched that Windette video before, and I likely wouldn't have found it without this, so it's been great for me. The legitimate riddles that Leth provided those years ago were solved, yeah, fairly quickly, but they were a tad more complex than a direct translation of numbers to letters. Okay, my next reason is incredibly weak, but hear me out. Uh, I've only spoken to Leth myself directly through Twitter DMs. He's pretty good at following Hollow Knight creators on his radar, but he doesn't seem to follow any of the creators involved in this. Now, I couldn't find Twitter accounts for all of those creators mentioned, but it's still very surprising and it's not for me to question at all. He's also active on the Discord, so I don't know, maybe it was orchestrated on there instead. I'm still excited to see what their next move is, but I'd need some kind of support from Team Cherry or Leth to believe it's more than just a fan project. Actually, who am I kidding? If they manage to get Mossbag or Aurelia or Fireborn or Blue involved in some way, then yeah, I'd probably put the tinfoil hat back on. I think I exist in a little bubble where their videos are the ones I consume the most, so I've gaslit myself into believing that they're more likely to be given secret information, and of course I'm more than happy to admit I'm doing it right now that I exist in this little bubble, so... This opinion might make me really unpopular, but I genuinely do hope that Team Cherry consider letting some creators play early, and I don't mean on stream because I don't want anyone to get any spoilers before release, but just so they can provide some feedback or start preparing content in advance. It's very normal practice with other games, and I promise I don't mean this in a invite me kind of way. I'd love to be included, obviously, but I don't think I'd be very high up on their list. There is one more thing to discuss, and I didn't bring it up previously for good reason. I was waiting on confirmation, but I have now been excited accepted as one of the official Triple I Initiative co-streamers, so I'm planning to be live right here reacting to all the news on Wednesday, April the 10th from 6pm BST. I don't expect any Silk Song news, but I do expect lots of solid in the announcements. Sorry for the convoluted, rambly, mildly biased video, I'd love to hear your takes on the whole thing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of that sweet government mandated Silk Song hopium. Thank you for listening, and I'll just leave you with this.